Shalom, we give all praise to Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and Shalom to the elect that's pushing this word throughout the four corners of the globe. Shema Ma from the DC camp, once again coming at you, and we're going to get right to it. You so called Jewish people, you're not Jewish at all. There's nothing Jewish about you. You are the Edomites of the Bible, the seed of Esau. That's who you are, and that's how you're going to be referred to. There's nothing Jewish about you. Jew comes from the tribe Judah, which is the fourth son of Jacob, and you're not sons of Jacob. Okay, so you can't be Jewish. Nothing like it. Nothing can be of it. You are the son of Esau, the seed of Esau. The Edomites that the Bible speak of, Deuteronomy, uh, Genesis, the 25th chapter, when Jacob and Esau was born, you came out first, uh, and Jacob's hand held the heel of Esau. That's who you are, Esau. You are Edomites. So remember, you are Edomites. You're not Jew. You're not Jewish. You're none of that, Okay. And because of, of, because of your doings throughout the whole four corners of the globe, we know who you are. We know that you're the Edomites, okay? You're the ones who rape, rob, and pillage countries, pillage people, pillage ideas, relics, history, archaeology. You're the makers and creators of, of war and of turmoil. Uh, upheaval uh, uh, of the people. You the one create crimes, create uh, chaos, create uh, uh, money out of out of nothing, money lending and laundering. The wars and rumors of wars going around the world. This is all your creation, because you were blessed with the gun. And, and this is how you've created and kept the world at bay because of your gun. But we have found out, and nations have found out who you are. And nations are, are, are now upset and mad at, at who you are. And that's why they repel uh, your democracy. They repel your, uh, your, your, uh, your uh, covenants, your agreements. Okay, you're not worth you're not worth the paper that you sign your treaties on. You're not worth it because you never uh, uh, keep up with the treaty. You don't honor the treaty. These are Edomites. You are an Edomite. Talking to you, Esau. We found out who you are. We just want to read a couple couple um, uh, couple passages that you know that I came up with and. Was, uh, was thinking about, so I just want to read it. It says, uh, so if, if you're not the Jews, who are the Jews? The actual Jews or Israelites are the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans throughout the four corners of the globe, especially in North, Central, and South America, right? The indigenous people of this land and the ones that was brought over on cargo slave ships from the, from the west coast of Africa. You call them today as black people or African Americans. These are the real Jews. The other tribes uh, from uh, the Native Americans, the Latinos, would you call Latinos and Hispanics, these make up the ten tribes of, of the lost ten tribes of Israel. But they have, they have, they're not lost anymore. We have found who we are. We know who we are. Okay? Um, we're the ones, we're the true descendants of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the 12 sons, the ones who walked through the Red Sea with Moses, uh, Aaron, and Joshua, the ones who went into the Promised Land under the, under the leadership of Joshua, right? The ones who, who made uh, the walls of Jericho fall, right? We're the ones who, who, who done this, okay? Uh, we're waking up to your dangerous game. You know, we're waking up to your dangerous games, your dangerous games of entertainment, your fake television, your fake programming, your fake news, 
your monopoly on, on money and societies and thought, schools, your monetary system, we've woken up to it. And, and, and most importantly, we understand now what the Bible is speaking of and who is speaking of and what it's talking about. We have the knowledge. We've been given the tools of understanding the gifts to understand these words that's coming out the uh, coming out the Holy Scriptures. We now understand what they are and who they're meant for. They're meant for the blacks, Latinos, who you call so-called black Latinos and Native Americans of this country and throughout the four corners of the globe. We've woken up to these things. You're not God. You're not the holy power. We, you, you're not to be reverence. There's nothing good about what your people have done. Look at the track record throughout, the, throughout history, starting from Alexander the Crete. Civilization didn't start with you, right? But your civilization is going to end. There's going to come a time in the near future, just a little bit more prophecies, all these things are going to come upon your head because you got a lot to pay for, Esau. You Edomites, all of you. You can't refute the truth. The truth has been hidden so long. Now the truth is finally here. Now you got to go back and, and try to fix things, but it's too late. The jig is up. The skirt has been lifted. Okay? We know about your organ tra uh, uh, trafficking. We know about your child snatching. We know about your sex trafficking of Israelite uh, little girls and little boys. We know about these things. We know about the slave trade, where you was uh, in charge of the slave trade, who, who uh, uh, ensured the travel for the, for the cargo. To, to make it safely to the shores of America. We know about that. We know about the wicked behavior that is becoming public knowledge now. We see who we see that now, now you got uh, lying presidents, lying dignitaries, fake news. See, real men of understanding throughout the world is coming to realize uh, and react to who you are to know that you're not in power anymore, that your power is dwindling, and, and one day it's going to be gone, then it's going to be a race riot. We know about these things. You're not a god. You have no deity. You have no power, but other than Satan, you conjure up uh, demons uh, to, fight your, to fight your battles because you actually work directly for Satan, the adversary to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And his son Yahweh Shah, who the, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. This is what you do: you conjure up demons and you summon the uh, summon uh, the demon Satan for your power, because you're an adversary. You adversarial to 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 Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Your imaginations can't can uh, sustain you any longer. You are fugitive from justice, and. And of course, trying to under, trying to get you to understand that your your behavior needs correcting is to no avail, because the only way for for you to uh, to uh, actually admit you would have to actually admit that you're wrong and you've done these things throughout the history, but you won't, you can't, because Satan is on his course, right? The only way uh, for you to uh, to be controlled is to destroy you. That's the only way to, to, to come to grips with this. That you have to be destroyed by nuclear thermonuclear fire. That's the only recourse for, for your actions. You, uh, you are hideous. You are sick. You are perverted people. Your culture and your ways are no good for us Israelites. We found out that all your ways are lies, your water, your food, your thought, 
your schools, everything is no good for our mental, for our physical, and our spiritual well-being. Humanity as a whole, you know, you talk about the whole humanity. Once they discover this information on a global level, it's, it's going to eclipse any pathetic plagues and petty acts of wicked justice that your ancestors have conjured up for the equal, equally imagined deities. This justice, however, will be all too real and equal to what you have done to the innocence of men, women, and children, all races and cultures worldwide. You need, to, you need to understand and contemplate the consequences, the consequences of rousing up 7 billion people worldwide on your wickedness. You're going to have to account for that. See, ever since, ever since uh, we Israelites have been waking up since the 60s uh, through our forefathers, uh, especially uh, Elijah, the prophet, uh, when he said in Malachi, let me get this scripture real quick. This is Malachi 4 and 5. It says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming and great and dreadful dead of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to their father, lest I come and smite the earth with the curse. This is what has happened. The Elijah the prophet has come to us and has shown us the way back to the Heavenly Father. And that's through his, that's through his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world even called Jesus Christ. We have found these things out. The, the seals of the book and the understanding of the book called the scriptures has been revealed to us. And we've taken it to heart by pushing out this word, telling the world who we are. And who you are, Esau, you so-called Jewish people, you're not Jewish, you're Edomites. Remember that. That's who you are. You are Edomites. We hold none of your idiotic philosophies, your political ramblings, your fake history, your perverted culture. We watch none of your idiot television your entertainment programming. We frown on the inbreeding from a scientific biological standpoint. We don't vote in your pathetic puppet. We don't vote for your pathetic puppets that you put in office. We don't support your military industrial complex. We don't, we don't support your manipulated wars. We laugh at your struggles throughout the world. We, we, we laugh at the struggles of your new world order, your ideologies in the news. The only naive people are the ones who think in the age of information that they can keep hidden from the eyes of the overwhelming mo uh, morality superior majority. Esau, simply you're fucked. Your inbred, your inbred brain cannot comprehend the gravity of this situation. You have dug yourself deep as a race of Edomites, a deep pit that you can't get out of. Being the most evil, psychotic, deluded, perverted, and moral unethical group of people on the planet, you are not even justified in forming a debate. Just commit, just keep committing genetic suicide and we will lift the skirt and unveil to the world as we do now and display the sick, evil, hideous, guilty fucks that hide behind it and clutches for dear life to that skirt and veil because you don't want anyone to see what's going on. You have a lot of people in delusion, but we're here to tell you all of us is not delusion. 
We see. We see what's going on. And we tell you about yourself. And those who would listen, who hear the voice of the Lord, will come back to their Heavenly Father, support the cause of getting out this word, pushing this truth to the end come. Soon the whole world would know it is impossible to stop this from coming out, this truth, because party time is over for you Edomites. 2 Corinthians 10 and 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and everything and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience to the anointed. This is what we do. We bring it down these strongholds that Esau has laid out. That our people were following for years. All of that has come to a halt. We just want you to know that the jig is up. The party is over. And you're done. Shalom.